whenever this office receives a new homicide case, we evaluate with a team of people in the office, and we certainly are looking for what we refer to as the worst of the worst cases. Phillips had hoped to donate his kidneys to his mother, who has kidney disease. He also wanted to donate his heart to his sister, who suffers from a heart condition. My view is, if a man at the end of his life wants to do something to preserve the life of somebody else, let's give him a chance. Can you ever be redeemed? There was yet another first ever moment this week in the history of the death penalty. Ohio's governor steps in to delay a child killer's execution. It's an eight-month delay to determine whether he should be able to donate his organs before being put to death. You don't take a heart from a living person. You don't and one life to give life to another. While he wants to help his mom and his sister with his organs, he's willing to help anyone who needs them. And I've read about China where, the, you know, they do the thousands of executions a year and then harvest three organs on average out of each inmate. You know, I wouldn't want a transplant surgeon to go to the business and say, look, boy, you know, this is one big organ farm out here. You know, look at all these livers out here. Are you executing people in order to have a supply of organs? The world is not ready to forgive me for what I did. They want to kill me, crucify me for it, but here I am ready to die for, um, for you and forgive you in my death. sell you my kidney. Can I buy my way out of the death sentence? Should you be able to sell your organs for your life to get off death row? To watch a human being die is not something that you would have expected to have in your job description as a journalist. 